Hi there, Luke Kane here, founder of MTP Health and the Knee Program. I wanted to share with you a concept that resonates with a lot of people. I use this description a lot to describe people's movement and how it impacts their pain or how it leads them to a situation where they are sitting there talking to someone like me. Um, and in this sort of circumstance, understanding is key. So if you know and you can circumvent stuff before it becomes a big problem, amazing. You know, save yourself a lot of time and money and, and discomfort. So what happens is there's different stages of discomfort. Now, you will typically before something becomes a big problem and you have a real injury or that you need to go and get help with, um, there's been some little miniature alarm bells that you just didn't either pick up on or you didn't think were serious. Um, but there's also a precursor to that which doesn't give you any alarm bells. And this is, this is a concept we like to refer to as a functional to structural um, process. Now, at the top of the spectrum, we got happy, happy days, nothing wrong at all. Then in here, we've got a mm, little bit of concern and then really sad down the bottom. Now, everybody starts off at the top, largely, okay? You start off at the top, now in this zone, you've got no pain. Here, you don't feel anything, no pain at all. So you're playing sport, running around, navigating life, doing what you do, doing activities, uh, and there's some change in your functions. Life gets in the way, you sit at the desk long hours, you go to university, you, you work a laborious job, you know, you, stuff happens that changes how you move from when you're 12 to when you're 30. Right? Like we go through some changes in that period. And in that time, function is just bubbling away like a little bit of a slow change, maybe a habit or you rolled your ankle and it causes you to limp a, a little bit. It causes a change in the range of motion in your hips and you never really paid attention. Uh, and then at some point you're like, oh, gee, my knee feels a bit, a bit twingy today. That isn't very good when I go to the gym. So you rest a bit and then you bubble back up here. And then you carry on doing what you're doing and you go, oh, there it goes again. It's a bit of a sore knee. And then you go back up and you rest a bit and you go back to what you're doing. And you go, ow, a bit worse this time, takes a bit more rest and you go, ow. And now it's, when you rest, it doesn't get quite back to good again. It's still a bit niggly, but you're like, it doesn't matter, push on. Physio, doctor, whoever I spoke to said, I need to keep getting stronger, make sure I get strong. So keep training. And then you're like, ow, 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 ow. Ow. And eventually, if you push on for long enough, something gives out. Something strains, sprains, tears, gets inflamed to a point where it's more chronic and you can't tolerate doing anything on it anymore. Now, this decline is just putting up with it and hoping something will go away. Now, the problem with just hoping something will go away is that if you're not addressing something that is going to change how you load those structures, then it's not just going to go away on its own because you have to do what you do in your life. So the key to avoiding this decline is to address the function, not worry about the structure. Focusing on the structure is going to see someone here and then going, seems okay, just rest, take some anti-inflammatories and then get back to what you're doing gradually, maybe just take it a bit easy when you build up the load. It's not addressing why that happened. Why is that structure being overloaded that way? What about my range, stability, control, strength, movement patterns are causing that structure to get overloaded? Because it's not that the structure is the problem. It's not that the knee is the issue. Maybe the knee is doing too much work to make up for a tight hip or a tight ankle. But if you don't look for those things, you don't find them, and then we just focus on structure until the structure is really problematic. Now, once you get to this point, the key neck, which a lot of people do, is that if you go through a rehab process and you rest and recuperate and recover, you'll come back up here, right? And you get back to the point where you're just above the line and you don't feel any pain and you feel good about things, but you've deconditioned. You've gotten less strong and less capable, um, which makes you a little bit more vulnerable. So then when you jump back to doing things that you love doing again, you quickly start to bump below the line and you get that sore knee again, even though you've gone through a recovery process. So what's critical in this is that when you get in this healing process, 
you look for other things, not just the problem area. Look to the hips, look to the back, look to the ankles, look to the shoulders, look everywhere, look at the movement control. Break down what you're doing and create a plan that addresses more broadly your function, not just the structure that's involved. And by addressing the function more broadly, you should be able to get yourself back up here so that you can start to do things and go through a bit of a yo-yo when you challenge yourself, but you always stay pretty pain-free. And if you do dip below this line and get a sore spot or an owie, it's okay because you can look to those key areas around the body or get an evaluation more broadly and work on the function to get yourself back up here again. But we should float around here. We should never let things get so out of hand that you fall down the rabbit hole down into a, a structural problem. So this idea of functional to structural decline is an idea that you start painlessly and moving well and with time, some things get a bit too uh, overloaded or too much demand on one area to make up for a weak spot. And you don't feel that for a while until you get those niggles. And then the niggles kick in and they just escalate and escalate. And you keep them at bay for as long as you can until something gives out and you can't push anymore. But the most important key to this is that function will lead to a structural change. But structure doesn't impact the function too much, right? You, can, you can't really change the structure without having surgery, but you can change the function dramatically and it'll reduce the chance of something spilling into a structural problem. I hope this made sense. I hope it helps uh, um, you think about some of your niggles and some of the things that you do with your, with your movement. Um, but most important takeaway from this is function is the most important thing to address. Address the function, look broadly, don't just focus on the pain spot, because the pain spot's just an alarm bell, and you can have lasting improvements in your pain and life.